Finally, the time has come again. He has awakened. Everyone thought he was gone, forgotten. And many said... El Rey? Who are you talking about? Uh... Not that important. Don't let me disturb you. I'm not even here. Just don't pay any attention to me. <clears throat> now you got me all confused. Tell them who I am. Ah, Elari, the prophesied one, before whom the very alpacas themselves bowed, who saved us from the gringos. I, I thought you were going to sing about how good I look and how successful I am with the ladies. Fine, fine. Before you became Elari, you were Lari Laffer. Actually, I still am. The man who back in the wild 80s decided to be a virgin no more. Best decision I ever made. The man from whom no woman is safe. You got that right. Uh, hang on. I don't think you're supposed to say that anymore. But it's true, of course, ladies. <laughs> Tell them where we are. This is without a doubt the most beautiful place on Earth. Wonderful can come. Nowhere is the sun warmer and the bananas more curved. Long did Cancom suffer under the gringo's yoke. But you, Elari, you set us free. You blew up the gringo's villa. Well, strictly speaking, that was more of an accident. We are free, and a golden future lies before us. Tell them how I got here. That, Elari, is a long story. As long as you don't rush through the last bit. Very well. You fell out of time. That's not very nice. No one knows how you got from the 1980s to our time. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. You woke up in a strange laboratory, and at first didn't know you were in the 21st century. But you quickly learned how this modern world works. After all, he had the best teacher. El Lefto, you are Larry's anchor to a world long lost. Would anyone like to try my new recipe for craft beer? No. At any rate, Elari, you have not only mastered the pitfalls of the 21st century... Well, mastered would mean that he knew what he was doing, and I don't think it would be fair to say that. I think he's doing all right. Silencio. Lari looked for love in all the wrong places. Elari has fallen deeply in love with Faith, the secret boss of the technology company Prune. She told him to get 90 points on the Timber dating app. Only then would she go out with him. How do you know all that? You weren't even there. Silencio! As always, that went caca. And then, Larry wanted to hack the prune server to improve his timber score. That was self-defense. In the process, he disturbed a product presentation. And prune was brought to the brink of bankruptcy. Yeah, well, oops. Faith had to flee with BJ in tow, the man she had installed as CEO of prune. But who was merely her puppet. Larry snuck onto their ship and secretly sailed with them to their villa here in beautiful Cancom. Not one word about what happened on that ship. Oh, I thought it was very romantic. Ah, really? I'll admit, now I'm curious. Are you nuts, Lefty? Never mind, forget I asked. Larry, I was politely going to avoid mentioning... Good thing. ...that you cobbled up the most repulsive sex doll of all time, and that you... We can just imagine the rest. Unfortunately. Finally, Faith revealed her plan, and that BJ was just a puppet. Then, you blew up the villa, driving off the gringos, and saving can come. It's a pretty crazy story. Tell them about the terrible fate Faith suffered. Ah, beautiful Faith. You were blindly in love with her, and moved heaven and hell to win her love. Well, strictly speaking, she was the one who was chasing me. 
You followed her here to her villa. Then you blew up the villa. Not completely. Uh, the basement's still there. Good thing, since that's where you're living right now. Anyway, the moment came where you saved her life, and she, for the first time, felt something approaching affection for you. But then, she was hit by a chunk of rubble. No, by the puck. What? That wasn't a piece of rubble from the villa. That was the puck. What do you mean, puck? I greased a high strike on the pier and new lost wages with some lube and put the puck into orbit when I hit it. And then, all that time later, it fell back to Earth and hit Faith at that exact moment? Exactly. Nobody understood that. Okay, let's just forget about that bit. At any rate, the puck knocked her out, she fell in the boat, and the wind swept her away. And so she disappeared from my life. I'm sure she's dead. Poor Faith. All I have left of her are memories. Could you maybe sing a song about Pi? If you do that, I'll delete myself. But I'd like to acknowledge that you were always there for me. You do realize that's what I was programmed to do, don't you? Yeah, but we've been through so much together. We sure have, Larry. Do you know a song about alpacas? Oh, but of course! Oh, alpaca, alpaca, everyone calls you llama, master of haulage, tasty as sausage, to wrestle you'd kill, you're yummy when grilled. Why am I all of a sudden hungry? Whatever happened to BJ? He wanted to float lefties on the stock exchange, market it as a franchise, and expand internationally. Sounds like a plan. Then Lefty beat him with a paddle and he took off. Oh. I know what happened. So what now? Are you sure you know enough to dive into this adventure? Yes. Now we can get this show on the road. Very well, Elari. Yet, there is still one last step remaining to fulfill the prophecy heralding a golden age on can come. You must marry the daughter of the most important man on the island. My daughter. I sincerely hope you haven't forgotten, considering we're in the middle of preparations. And, uh... <clears throat> Uh, how about a, uh, uh, prenup? You will love and honor her until death do you part, and you won't demand any recourse. That's it? Yes. Then I'll go get ready for a wedding. Yes. Go now, Elari. Marry the most beautiful woman on the island. My daughter. Uh, how many women are there on the island, anyway? Two. The other one is my mother. Uh, maybe, uh... Fulfill the prophecy. And your destiny. Let me leave you with this song. Oh, Elari, Elari, they call you... Ay, caramba! My guitar! We have to fix it, Elari. Otherwise, I won't be able to sing any songs at your wedding. I'll take care of it. And don't forget that you have to take care of the catering and wear your wedding suit. Hi. What can I do for you, Larry? There must be some kind of app for wedding preparations. Absolutely. But I'm still busy unzipping that huge file, which means I can't install any new apps right now. <laughs> I know what unzipping huge things can be like. Oh, just zip it, Larry. That file somebody sent us a few weeks ago, remember? I'll have to decrypt it, but it'll take time. Okay, then let me know when it's done. Larry, I think you're a little confused. Isn't that normal when you're about to commit yourself to something forever? Yes, it is. But let me remind you again... Ah! 
Ah, Elari, the best and only son-in-law I ever had. El Rey, the mayor of Cam Cum and my soon-to-be father-in-law. Lefty, my oldest friend. Lefto. Ah, uh, right. I think it's time for you to concentrate on your wedding. A lot of the preparations for the wedding have already been made. How do you feel about that, Larry? Are you really ready to make port in the harbor of holy matrimony? If the prophecy demands it. That's a good enough reason for you? Uh, let's just not talk about it. Would you rather talk about how you blew up the villa? All right, all right. I'll never push a big red button again. Where's the ladder leading down to my room again? What's wrong, Larry? I was just thinking about Faith again. Don't blame yourself. I do, though. That's Faith's underwear, which was strewn all over the island in the explosion. I collected all of them. So, uh, can I give them back to Faith as soon as possible? If she's still alive, I should at least light a candle for her. Actually, everything I need should be here in this room. A plain white candle. I'm taking these. It might get dark. There it is. First of all, I have to light it. There are a few missing, but it should be enough. Fire. Man's best friend. And harmless in the right hands. Burning. Now I have to put it on top of the altar. Poor Faith. I really hope Faith is doing okay. Faith, I wish you were here. Okay, time to get going. I still have a lot to prepare for the wedding. Wait. What? I still have to check your progress in the sensitivity class today. Does it have to be now? You said yourself that you wanted to know more about how to properly interact with other people in the 21st century. I've already learned a lot. But not enough. Okay, fine. So, how many genders are there? Uh, two are enough for me. <laughs> I've almost had enough of you, too. So, how many are there, then? The correct answer is 
Gender is diverse. Okay, if you're too lazy to count. Oh. Next question. Your best friend confides that he is suffering from depression. What do you advise him to do? Go out and enjoy a hot night. Oh, your answers will make my processor overheat too. And that's what you would do yourself? No, of course not. That's reassuring. First, I get myself a whiskey. Then find a woman. Enough already. Why do I even ask? The last question. For now, a colleague at work makes a sexist joke during lunch. How do you react? Very funny. I've had enough. Did I pass? Let me put it this way. The 21st century isn't done with you yet. Things used to be easier. Things didn't used to be easier. You were just more naive. But at least back then you could say what you thought. And just what do you think you've been doing here the whole time? Are you done unzipping that file yet? I need a wedding app. The encryption is proving hard to crack. It seems to contain some important data. Some kind of secret. You haven't really been working properly ever since Faith stopped being the boss at Prune either. That's not true. I wonder what's happened at the company since then. Hello? So you're... Nari. Yes. You know who I am, baby. Yes. M Mr. Wang, nice to meet you. Uh-oh, we don't have any time for pleasantries. This Nari is not the prune that used to be. The Bill Jobs and Faith prune. This, this is my prune now. Uh, yes? You're still working on the Cougar update for our Pythons. I want you to release it immediately because I have other work for you. But... No buts. We have a bigger, more important project ahead of us. Miss Faith was working on a revolutionary software project, a self-learning algorithm. I need it for the product that will truly immortalize Prune. One that will make even Pythons obsolete. She hinted that she'd cracked the algorithm, but I never saw it. I'm under pressure, Nari. Understand? Well... That algorithm is sexy. We have to get it. Get it, sweet cheeks. I'll just get back to work. As of right now, you are the technical director here at Prude. If we can't find Faith's algorithm, our technicians will have to develop one themselves. Like yesterday. You have a free hand and unlimited resources. Do whatever you want with me. Uh, thanks? Nari. Yes? I can't find the switch for the secret back room. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. There has to be something like that somewhere around here. A room with a heart-shaped bed that spins. Uh... With a back entrance for anyone I invite. I'll, um... I'll check up on that directly with the uh, property manager, and I'll get the cougar update rolled out. <sighs> In my old office, all I had to do was press a button under my desk and poof, there it was. That was nice. By the time I'm done with Prune, I'll have that here too. By the way, Larry, Yeah. if you want to remember certain things that you can't take with you, you can take photos of them instead. <laughs> Very funny. Do I look like I have a camera on me? I have a camera. You? What do you think that hole on the back is for? Well... Forget I asked. So you can photograph everything? Yes. And then show it to you as if you were carrying it with you. Hmm. How practical. You could have told me that earlier. Oh. I could use it to take a picture of something pretty specific, <laughs> but you need a wide-angle lens for something that size. I have... um, yes, Larry, I have to say it's too bad I don't have one of those. Phew. Oh, I'm sure it'll work anyway. Larry, no!
done now? Yeah, thanks for asking. But you might just want to take pictures of things that might be useful later. That's Fate's underwear, which was strewn all over the island in the explosion. I collected all of them. So, uh, can I give them back to Faith as soon as possible, if she's still alive? My head's starting to spin, Pi. Isn't there some way I can keep better track of everything I have to do? I'm glad you asked. I installed a to-do app for you. Can't I have that timber thing again? We decided to uninstall that app as part of your sensitivity training. For your own good. That was a stupid idea. Anyway, the app lists everything you still need to do for the wedding. And you'll be there to check off everything that's done? Of course. Whenever you finish any of your outstanding tasks, I'll show you. I think I showcased the underwear perfectly. I think I showcased the underwear perfectly. This is where I document my progress in my sensitivity training. I think I'm sensitive enough at the moment. On my wardrobe is a little sign that says it's a Prune Incorporated Standard Cage TM. I can't open it. The padlock is kind of in the way. That's the most beautiful wedding suit I've ever seen. This suit is freshly starched. If I pull it out through the bars, it'll be ruined. Looks sturdy. I'll never be able to break that open. I can wiggle my finger in there as much as I want, but neither my finger nor the lock will get anything out of it. Poor Faith. I really hope Faith is doing okay. Big and red like my... Larry? Just what I was gonna say. Thanks, Pi. What? Is that a self-destruct mechanism that works twice? Whew, that was lucky. There's some wires sticking out and it's not even insulated. Now the self-destruct button just self-destructed. I don't want to talk about it. Are you sure you'd still rather stand? I'm never touching that again, especially not from behind. That's a, that's my toilet, which explains why the toilet paper is hanging there. No, if I sit on that, I'll get stuck. And I really don't want to touch the toilet paper today. Lube, every craftsman's tried and true little helper. I always say, lube, don't leave home without it. Totally high tech, at least it was in 1987. Nah, the Can't Come News Network is showing nothing but crap today. I only have the magazines because of the amazing interviews. They interview the naked women too? That's so nice of them. Quiet, Pie. No, I'm not taking that. I said no. I admire your willpower, Larry.
note to self, this is not toothpaste. A short bare wire. Good idea, but that won't work. If I'm not mistaken, that was Faith's. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it, but you never know. El Ray, the mayor of Cam Cum and my soon-to-be father-in-law. Hola! Hello! I still have a few questions about the wedding. Yes? What else do I still have to do? Well, I need to be able to play a song at the wedding, but one of the guitar strings is broken. All of the guests need to be fed. You must wear your finest wedding suit. When all this has been done, we will celebrate a wedding. Can I at least talk to your daughter once before the wedding? No, that is strictly forbidden. Why? Because it's, uh, uh bad luck. For whom? Uh, how many women got lucky by talking to you? So, uh, why don't we talk about something else? What does a wedding have to do with the prophecy? Uh, it's all in the old scriptures. They are very complicated. It takes years of work to understand them. Oh, I was just curious. It's not like you're setting your daughter up with me just because the opportunity presented itself. <laughs> because of American citizenship or anything. <laughs> oh, of course not. Couldn't we just enter a cohabitation agreement? Oh, no. That just causes confusion with the tax classes. Any tips for the wedding night? Is she the athletic type? Does she already know all the tricks, or will I have to explain some of them to her? Why aren't you talking? Why are you still talking? Enough about the wedding. Do you know where I can get the key to my clothes closet? Ah, Elari, I've already given you the one key. The key to your destiny. I melted down the gold from the tombs of my ancestors, committed this sacrilege only to make that key out of it. A key that holds all our destinies. You still have it, right? A UFO full of aliens came and stole it. Those aliens are becoming quite the plague these days. So, the one key is lost. The key of destiny. Born of the gold of my ancestors. Irrecoverable! Good thing I have another one. Here. Oh, thanks. Still mad at the gringos? So mad! Except with you, of course, Elari. But as my son-in-law, you'll be one of us anyway, not some gringo. I didn't even feel gringo-y anymore. I, I forgot what happened there at the end. Again. Then I'll sum it up for you. Again, by some mysterious means, you were transported from the 1980s to our time. You fell in love with the boss of the technology company Prune and tried to win her favor by earning enough points in the Timber dating app. You drove the company to the brink of ruin and followed Faith here. Then, you blew up Faith's villa and the explosion blew her out to sea on a ship. She's been missing and presumed dead ever since. The way you tell it, I come off way too bad. 
You don't even want to know what you got up to in a parallel universe. Catch you later, Elroy. El Rey! At least it got to touch Faith's lips. The other key, almost as good as the one. Thanks, Elari. A G-string for my guitar. Now, I can sing my song at your wedding. Somehow, it feels good to check something off. Almost as good as timber. No. Oh, wow. Hello. Catch you later, Elroy. El Rey. So I'll put on my wedding suit. Ah, it fits perfectly. Oh, and the one key from El Rey is in the pocket, too. Great. At least he won't kill me for losing it. Somehow it feels good to check something off. Almost as good as timber. No. I wonder what's in there. That's not a punching bag. I guess those are supposed to be me and my bride. I'll just leave those two right where they are. I haven't seen a single pastry chef on the whole island, but Lefty has a tube of building foam. That's enough to make a man suspicious. I'd love to eat some of that, but I think I should get married first. If this keeps up, it's gonna start staring into me. Like there's a lot to discover there. True enough. You can see the beach down there. What's that? What's wrong, Larry? <gasps> is that... the bride? The bride is El Rey's daughter. Maybe he adopted the donkey. Try being a little more tolerant, and above all, stop being so simple-minded. I think they're both identical. More like cheesecloth. That was you. They made me do it. I don't need that. It's completely shredded. It's looking at me very suspiciously. Hmm, I'd rather keep my distance. Just married. <laughs> now even donkeys can get married. It's for you. I don't want to marry that. Oh, forget it. Cans with strings on them. I used to play telephone with those as a kid. Look, Pi, this is what a phone is supposed to look like. Barbarian Brew Export, 50 liters. Thanks, but I'm not thirsty. An old volleyball. It looks a little limp, but I can fix that. Hey, that's what your women usually say to you. I don't have time to hang out at the beach. The wedding awaits. That stick could make a great divining rod, but I already know where there's enough water. Looks useful. It's mine now. That's the prophecy El Rey was talking about. Something about gringos. You shouldn't take prophecy too lightly.
The volleyball reminds me of a crushed head with no face and no hair. A stick in the hand is better than one up the butt. Hmm, those two things won't work together. Now that's a real kissing mouth. Looking rather pretty, but so bald. Larry! How's business? I can't complain. Of course, it helps to be the only restaurant on the whole island. Most of my customers became regulars once they stopped tossing their cookies. Let me guess. You came up with a new recipe for your barbarian brew? Larry, it's an art. You don't just come up with something like that. But you can throw up with something like that. Whatever happened to BJ? He wanted to become my partner in Lefties. Thought it could be built into a franchise. A lefties in every city and all that. Different types of barbarian brew for different target groups. I convinced him it wasn't a good idea. With your cholesterol? With a paddle. Then he disappeared. No idea what happened to him. Don't really care either. You think the wedding's a good idea? Sure. I'll take care of the catering. I mean, I haven't even met the bride yet. You have to look on the bright side. That means the bride hasn't met you yet. What are you trying to say? Uh, I'm saying you two are probably a dream couple. <laughs> oh, okay. Can you feed all the wedding guests? I could. But I can't prepare any alpaca meat while the meat grinder's stuck. Can't you do that without alpaca meat? Vegan, maybe? El Rey says that the... The prophecy forbids it. Just like everything else. I gotta be going. See you later, then. I'm not sure why Lefty thinks pizza is a typical cam-cum dish, but... Lefty, uh, uh, lefto, uh, can I please borrow your pizza peel? You mean you take it and I never see it again? He's on to you. Go ahead, take it. I'm experimenting with flatbread anyway. A peel suited to every kind of pizza and that doesn't even discriminate against pineapple. This is where Lefty, uh, Lefto, bakes his pizzas. It's also his waste incinerator. I'm not sure why Lefty thinks pizza is a typical cam-cum dish, but... Lefty, my oldest friend. Lefto. Uh, right. I wonder if Lefty would buy me a drink. No. I can have a drink. But then I'd probably fall in the water, so no. At least Lefty has been sorting his trash. Or he's developing a microplastics-based dish. You can never have enough plastic bottles. Most people have no idea that plastic bottles are not all the same. They're made of different plastics for different uses. It's actually really fascinating. The explosion claimed many victims, but those two died from my guacamole. I'll just leave it hanging there. It looks pretty used. It won't turn at the moment. I like that meat grinder. It can still be operated by hand, too. Rusty. Or it's got some bone chips stuck in it. It's hard to say. That's quite a few empty plastic bottles.
The crank now turns again. Now it turns again. Larry! Can you feed all the wedding guests? Of course! The meat grinder's working again. So everything's set for the wedding. Somehow, I don't know, I just can't really get all excited about it. What's wrong, Larry? It all feels wrong. That's how everyone feels before they say yes. You're probably right. I'll just go back to my room for now. Larry? What's up? Remember that file that was sent to you a few weeks ago? What was that about again? You received an encrypted file from an unknown number, and I started decrypting it in the background. Oh, that file. What about it? I decrypted it. Ah, so I can install the wedding app now. The file was from Faith. What? Her picture was in the file, too. That's Faith. When exactly was that picture taken? The day after the house exploded. She survived. But where is she now? The photo also shows GPS coordinates from the open ocean. Pi, we have to go there right away. Coordinates saved to the map. Can you swim? I'd rather try using a boat. There was more in the file. What else? Hmm. It's some complex program code I don't understand myself. I'll analyze it. Ah. Ah. What's happening to you? I... I don't know. What about that program code? It disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? I don't understand it either. Maybe it was just an update from my software. Whatever. I have to find Faith. All I have to do is make sure that El Ray doesn't marry me off right away. Otherwise, I'll never get off the island. Pi, where can I find a boat on the island? Pi, everything okay? Uh, of course. A boat, nowhere. BJ's yacht was repossessed, and the locals don't want to leave. Then I'll have to build one myself. Well, anyone who can catch a rat with a condom can definitely build a raft. Now the self-destruct button just self-destructed. Hmm, those two things won't work together. Hola! Hello! Now that I think about it, um, maybe the wedding isn't such a great idea. What are you trying to say? I am afraid of committing myself forever. It doesn't have to be forever. Really? If you don't behave yourself, the marriage can be dissolved much earlier by your death. Catch you later, Elroy. El Rey! That's Lefty's Buffet. The alpaca sausage smells delicious. Can't be moved. A table covered with a tablecloth. There's something bulging up beneath it. Let's see if there's anything underneath it. Yes! Okay, I'll release the brakes. It has a brake, but no gas pedal. Bad design. It's already loosened. I should be able to move it now. I was right. It can be moved. Quite a waves, as a matter of fact. You can see the beach down there.
Now it turns again. There are some holes I prefer not to stick my fingers in. Ugh. I don't want to run that through the meat grinder. An empty Poopsie Cola bottle. I'll just take that. Look, Pi, this is a blueprint for a raft. I think it's from a survival magazine. Maybe I can use it to make something. Wait, I'm installing a blueprint app for you. You can use it to build complicated things. That's quite a few empty plastic bottles. Okay, I think I've got it. I define which object has to be used as what. Then I press the start button, and then that's how it will be done. But only if everything fits. I have a rudder to steer the raft. Some sort of communication device is an absolute must, but that's really you, isn't it, Pi? I'm not licensed to operate on the high seas. Nobody's perfect. And floats are necessary to keep the raft from sinking, of course. Of course, without a sail, I'd never get anywhere. I could tie myself to a mast if I saw sirens along the way. <laughs> you know, the ones with boobs. <laughs> no deck, no ship. Old sailor's rule. Those can't be combined. Enough. There's new lost wages. I'll go back there someday. I just know it. I don't think I want to swim there. An empty cream soda bottle. I'm sure I'll need that. More like cratering than catering. I'm sure that tabletop would be useful, but I can't carry it around with me. I'll take a picture of it. I got the tabletop from its best side. The pizza peel fits perfectly into the fork of the branch. Why push pizza when you can paddle water? There's a lot of stuff stuck to the seaweed. It's all sticky and green. Of course I'm gonna take it. An empty snipple bottle. Okay. An empty Buttweiser bottle. Yo-ho-ho, ho, and not a bottle of rum. I 
I guess there is a point to being horny. Oh, it broke off. A Norwal, the unicorn of the sea. I don't think resuscitation is an option anymore. Looks like it's got something in its mouth. Say, ah! I hope I can recycle these. The more, the merrier. The seaweed looks almost like green hair. Don't say it. We all know what you think when you see a narwhal horn. A whole lot of plastic bottles. Perfect if you have to transport a lot of air. Good idea, but that won't work. The seaweed looks almost like green hair. Isn't it beautiful? I dub thee Wilson. A man's name? Wilma. I meant Wilma. I've never carried a head this sexy around with me before. Now, isn't that one impressive boat? Uh, well, let's say it's mostly above water. I baptize you. Titanic 2. The raft does not deserve that. Do you want to set sail now? Uh, during long boat trips, I might need something to help pass the time. I wish I lacked imagination. We're good to go now. Uh, Wilma will keep me company. <laughs> Should I just put myself down? But just think of all the things you'll miss. I'll take that as a yes. Trip. Are you complaining? I'm so glad I had Wilma with me. Is she your new best friend? No, of course not. You are. Aww. It's a shame that you don't have a body. Well, nothing I can do about that. Oh, and I even went and made a head. You don't imagine me looking like that, do you? Uh, absolutely not. So Faith was here? There's nothing but wreckage. I'm locating her Python. It's very close. There it is. No land in sight. I can swim, but I don't want to right now. I have a feeling that the storm is getting closer by the second. Be gone, storm. Hmm, didn't work. This could be Faith's pie phone. It's still working. It's rebooting. It's logged into the net. Weak signal, but it's re-established a wireless connection. The battery still has a bit of charge left. But not much. Then you should talk to her quickly. Maybe my colleague knows where Faith is. Pie? <laughs> pie. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Pie, pie, pie. Ah. 
Can you tell me where Faith is? Faith? Faith, Shimei. Take out that white crab. You're blinding me. Pie? What's wrong with her? The salty seawater corroded her wiring. And then the loneliness of being shipwrecked. Poor Pie. But, uh, Larry, I think we have another problem. It'll have to wait. We need to find out what happened to Faith here. Pie? Yes? Not you. The other one. Faith Pie, can you locate Faith? Look out. Look. 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 Look out. That would be a no. Larry, there's something you should know. Yeah, yeah, I know. We have to fix this pie. No, that's not what I mean. What then? Your life is in danger because a storm is coming. What should I do now? My security protocol says to throw out a life preserver. I don't have one. Then hold on tight to something. expecting delivery of the 4K surveillance cameras for the offices. I just can't believe Prun never used to have anything like that. Nari? Yes? Let the delivery guys in. That's not the doorbell. The signal's coming from Faith's Pi phone. So? But that could mean she's still alive. You mean we could still get our hands on her secret project? I mean, she's still alive and we can rescue her. Yes, whatever. As long as I can find out what the deal was with that algorithm she was working on. And where she hid it. Where's the signal coming from? Deep in the Caribbean. Far south of Cancun, where she disappeared. I have just the right person for this job. I'm calling... The Subspace Penetrator! The what? Commander Yanmai! Reporting. I have an assignment for you. I'm ready for anything. Would you also have sex during a parabolic flight? Uh, that's not what I meant. You don't have to. <laughs> well, not for now. I'm relaying the signal we're picking up. This is the Pi phone from a Miss Faith Les. Proceed to its source immediately and investigate the situation. If Faith is still alive, bring her here. Or whatever you can find of her. She's the only one who can tell us where she stored the algorithm. Confirmed. Scanning frequencies for the signal. Ah, receiving signal. Excellent! Full thrust authorized. Stay in the shadows, Commander Yanmai. And when the time is right, really let it rip. Uh, just what exactly do you mean? You know, do what needs to be done. Crack down, that kind of thing. Oh, what's that? Everything okay there? No harm done. Don't worry, Nari. That's just one of the tame sex slaves. Just shoo him back under the desk. Blue name orders, out. Oh. What? I survived the storm. Uh, but... Where am I now? This doesn't look like can come to me. Oh. Hi. What? Are you okay? I think so. Systems analysis. No water damage. Cougar update still running. What about Faith Pie? Hello? Hi? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. W what's wrong? Pulsating pectorals off the shoulder of Orion. Larry, she's dying. I watched C-sections in the dark near the Tan studio gate. Is there anything I can do to help? All those orgasms will be lost in time. Like tears in rain. No, Larry. Time to go offline.
she has passed into the realm of the eternal offline. Oh, I'll bury her here. That's very compassionate of you. So I won't tell you that the salt water will release toxins from the device. Okay, I'm stranded on some island. The jungle looks impenetrable. My ship is a total wreck. I'll die here for sure! Relax, Larry. Now, you just have to do what you always do. I let my cosmopolitan appearance do the talking? You mean you're going to take your pants off? Nobody knows my talents better than you. No, Larry. You're not going to do that. As always, you're going to wander around aimlessly, taking anything that's not tied down. True. That's my specialty. I can still do the rest anyway. Someday, you're gonna have to learn how... Pie, are you okay? Think so. 